Neptune, the eighth and last planet in our solar system. After Pluto was downgraded in 2006 for not meeting the International Astronomical Union's criteria, it is the fourth largest planet, but the third massive, more massive than its slightly bigger twin Uranus. It has 17 times the mass of Earth and 58 times the volume due to the combination of rock, ices, and gas that make up the icy giant. Neptune is a violent planet with a bright azure blue color. Thusly, it is appropriately named after the Roman god of water, steward and commander of the sea, who could also control winds and storms, granting safe passage to ships sailing on open waters or sending them to watery graves. It is the least studied planet in our solar system due to its vast distance from Earth. In fact, it is so far from the Sun and has such an extensive orbit that in 2011, it had just made its first complete rotation around the Sun since its discovery in 1846. But what mysteries are hiding within this godlike planet? What secrets are lurking below the surface? And how can we unlock them? Uncover more secrets of the universe by clicking like, subscribe, and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss what we find next. This is Over Orbit Plus. It is disputed as to whether John Couch Adams or Urbain Le Verrier first discovered Neptune. Both used mathematical equations based on Newton's law of gravitation to predict the planet's existence before they had ever directly observed it. Irregularities in Uranus's orbit could not be explained by astronomers unless there was a gravitational force farther out, affecting and disturbing its path around the Sun. It turns out that Neptune had been observed many times before, but was not properly recognized. Galileo in the 17th century was perhaps the first to gaze upon the planet. However, he mistook Neptune for a star. Neptune is 30 times as far from our Sun as the Earth is. At 4.5 billion kilometers away from our star, it takes nearly 165 years to make a complete orbit. For the only planet in our solar system that cannot be seen with the naked eye and with such a long orbital cycle, one can understand why it took so long before its true identity was revealed. Neptune is so far from the Sun that if you were standing on it at high noon, the light would be similar to a dim twilight here on Earth. The first image of Neptune came from a space probe called Voyager 2, launched in 1977. It made it to Uranus in January of 1986, and then took another three and a half years before reaching Neptune in August 1989. Voyager 2 photographed the icy giant, revealing its blue color which we now know is due to gaseous methane in the atmosphere, even though it is predominantly made up of hydrogen and helium. It is the methane that absorbs red light thus reflecting bluer colors. It also photographed the Great Dark Spot, similar to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter. However, in 1994, the Hubble Space Telescope revealed Neptune's Great Dark Spot was gone, leaving scientists baffled. Voyager 2 was unable to navigate beyond Neptune to the dwarf body Pluto, so NASA directed it to explore Neptune's moon Triton before ending its 12-year endeavor. The Great Dark Spot has been a fascinating mystery to astronomers for decades. Similar to Jupiter's Red Spot, it is an anticyclonic storm, a storm with a high pressure center where winds move in the opposite direction to that of wind flows above a region of low pressure. These are powerful supercell storms that can generate large tornadoes and usually accompany cold weather. This particular spot was the southern hemisphere and nearly the size of Earth. Scientists were able to calculate wind speeds up to 1500 miles per hour, making them the strongest ever recorded on any planet in our solar system. To put this into perspective, the strongest hurricanes typically have wind speeds between 130 and 156 miles per hour, and the highest wind speeds ever recorded on Earth measured 253 miles per hour. However, as stated above, in 1994, Hubble Telescope revealed the Great Dark Spot had vanished, leading astronomers to believe that it had completely disappeared or had been covered up. But this was only part of the story. Hubble also revealed that a different spot had formed in the Northern Hemisphere. Subsequently, this one disappeared between 1998 and 2000. In 2015, a new southern spot appeared, 
only this time it seemed to have a poleward drift before disappearing in 2017. And in 2016, a storm nearly identical to the Great Dark Spot emerged in the Northern Hemisphere, which remained for several years. In 2018, scientists made an epic discovery of a new vortex that was documented from birth. This storm grew to a size of 4,600 miles across, wider than the Atlantic Ocean. Observations a year later showed it moving southward toward Neptune's equator. It was hypothesized that as these storms move closer to the midline of the planet, they would weaken and dissipate. But in 2020, the storm had shifted directions again. Additionally, in the same year, Hubble spotted a smaller dark spot next to the larger one, which scientists speculated was possibly a fragment of the giant vortex that had broken off and drifted away. This was significant because it could be evidence of the disruption process, which had previously never been observed. Astronomers have much to learn about the peculiar storms of the planet, as we do not yet know what all this activity means. However, we do know that they seem to be unique to Neptune. Unlike Jupiter's red spot, which has remained stable and has never moved for centuries, Neptune's anticyclonic storms are very active, migrating in different directions and apparently manipulated by the planet's equator. Another baffling discovery of Neptune has to do with the planet's temperatures. Neptune has an axial tilt of 28.32 degrees, similar to Earth. This suggests that it experiences seasonal changes like Earth does, except seasons on Neptune last approximately 40 years. So when Neptune's southern hemisphere was observed during its four-decade summer beginning in 2005, scientists were shocked to learn that temperatures didn't get warmer, but actually dropped. 17 years of infrared imaging, taken between 2003 and 2020, revealed Neptune's stratosphere cooled an average of 8 degrees Celsius, with bizarre and dramatic temperature decreases between 2003 and 2009. But the initial drop in temperature during Neptune's beginning summer phase wasn't the only surprise awaiting scientists. Between 2018 and 2020, temperatures rose by 11 degrees Celsius, so what was the cause of the sudden change? A rise in temperature does make sense given the summer season. However, it is peculiar due to the long previous cooling period, and scientists would expect slow, gradual rises in temperatures due to the 40 years of summer rather than abrupt spikes. Unfortunately, we only have theories to explain the unpredictable temperature changes. Our best guess has to do with the chemical makeup of Neptune's atmosphere. It is composed of 80% hydrogen, 19% helium, and trace methane gas, approximately 1%. While methane absorbs sunlight to warm the atmosphere, photochemically produced hydrocarbons such as ethane and acetylene are potent infrared emitters that could rapidly cool the stratosphere. As these hydrocarbons change, weather and temperatures could expeditiously be affected. We observe similar findings with Saturn's atmospheric temperatures, it's also possible that Neptune's violent and unpredictable weather could be influencing the temperature changes. Frequent and massive storms could cause gusts of frozen methane to whirl around the atmosphere, influencing absorption of sunlight and photochemical density. But as of now, more information is needed to be sure. As new and improved technology is developed, we should be able to answer these questions. The new James Webb Space Telescope was launched in 2021. And as of September 2022, it began capturing Neptune in a completely new light. Not only has it given us the clearest images to date, but it has also shown us the most clearly expressed visuals of Neptune's rings. Scientists previously knew about the rings in 1989, imaged by the Voyager 2 probe. However, the optical depth of the rings was poor compared to the James Webb. Neptune's rings contain a large amount of micrometer-sized dust, similar to Saturn's. The rings are reddish in color and are made from a dark material, most likely a mixture of ice with radiation processed organics. James Webb has also spotted a vortex at the south pole of the planet. It is predicted that new images of the rings and planet will help scientists to solve many of the mysteries of Neptune, unanswered by previous data and discoveries. New information about Neptune not only gives us a better understanding about the planet, but also gives us insights into worlds beyond the solar system. James Webb Space Telescope has been a game changer for astronomers, capturing never before seen images of Neptune. And perhaps a new probe dedicated to Neptune alone is on NASA's future agenda.
Join us next time as we continue to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss a thing.